Hey people out there, my name is Vincent and welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're completely new. Today I have um, a very, very exciting video because I got this massive box. <laughs> Which is gonna cover this whole screen of the video. So this is a Lloyd's, um, what is it, a large? A large um, moving box, which is what 24 by 18 by 18 inches. It is freaking massive. In here are about 20 horses. Most of them are traditionals. I know there are two classics in there, a couple stable mates. So basically, what this is is my Briarfest 2020 kind of haul, if you want to say so, because I usually travel to the US to go to Briarfest and shop a lot of horses there. And obviously, because Briarfest was virtual this year, I couldn't go to the US. But obviously, Briars are way cheaper in the US. So I still bought some Briars in the US and also the web specials and premium club models that were released I all shipped them to my friend Erica and she kind of collected them for me And then I usually take them with me when I travel overseas to stay with her But obviously again, I couldn't do that this year So what they did they sent me this massive box with all the horses that I've collected over the last maybe a year. So anyways, so I picked this up from the custom because again, for international people, it's lovely that it takes three or four days for a parcel to arrive in Germany from the US, but then it's um, stuck at the custom for like another 10 to two weeks. I don't know what they do at the custom because they can't be that busy with like COVID going on. But anyways, um, I finally got the parcel, picked it up from the custom. Um, and what they do at the custom, they usually check what's inside. So she opened it already and she took one of the horses out, which is a new inbox um, horse. And um, she was actually really friendly she was like oh that's that's so cool i'm like yeah i collect them blah 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 so anyways um also in here is my freaking holy grail um that i've been hunting for pff, five years ever since i've been collecting traditionals really um or collecting or conquering the silver mold so anyways without further ado let's just um dive into it um i'm probably gonna um open the um holy grail at the very end this parcel is packed till the very top with horses. Ooh, we got a bunch of candy again. Thanks, Carly and Erica. Ooh, onion flavored rings. <laughs> Crayons. <sighs> Interesting. So that's not something to eat, I guess. Anyways, okay, we're gonna do a testing of all of these at the very end. <laughs> This is a Walmart bag. For everyone who knows me, I freaking adore Walmart. Don't judge me, but I, I love Walmart. Oh my God, I'm sitting so uncomfortably because of that huge box in front of me. And then I've got my setup in my bed, so I can't really move anywhere. Anyways, oh my God, we got some mini Winnie surprises. No freaking way. Okay, I'm gonna open them now because like, that I, I, I didn't know they were in here. So thank you so much, Carly and Erica. I adore that chase piece. So we're just gonna, okay, we've got, oh wow, oh wow. <laughs> they <laughs> smell so good like China. They are so hard to feel. Okay, we've got this standing Juno, that's his name. And then last but I love, I love these blind bags. Oh, we've got another one of those. Interesting, so we've got two of those and the standing dude. Um, that, that's pretty cool. My first kind of mini winnies, I think. Now we get to kind of my Briarfest purchases. This is Balinay, Balinol, Balinol Castle. The Met version, because I couldn't freaking get this horse on their website because of the freezing and the refreshing and stuff. So Carly actually got him for me. So thanks again, Carly. That is super lovely. And because there were so many horses in there, she unboxed him and he is stunning to be fair. Like I'm not a massive drafter fan, but apparently like I've bought so many drafters as you can see from like Briarfest and stuff. He is so cool. I mean, I ordered the glossy one as well because I'm a sucker for glossies. So excited for that as well. Ooh, next one is this lovely guy. My girl, well, Bill Berry, um, who was a web special from um, this year, even though it says 2019 on here, which is one of the Barry series ones. I actually didn't get picked for her, but someone sold her to me for price on Instagram, so thanks for that, because she's just super lovely. That is such a cute little pony. I mean... Oh, I'm just a sucker for Appaloosa, so all of these horses will probably be Appaloosa, so be warned. Okay, who's next? That Okay, that, so I found his base already, so that's this dude with the base. Ooh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. So this is, I believe his name is Bolo? Bolo? I, I think so. So this is an exclusive from, does it say on the belly? It says 2018 limited edition. So this was from the Brian event that they did in 2015, which was 
the Chicago one? I don't even know the name of the event anymore, but I adore this dude. Like, I, I'm a big fan of the show Jumping Mold, and I've always wanted to own him. And I got him in a trade with a um, lovely girl from Instagram, Courtney. So thank you so much for trading with me, because this boy... Oof. Look at him. I'm just a sucker for, like, um buckskins, grillos, whatever, like, and he looks just like a wild mustang or something. Look how detailed his eyes are. He's got such a gorgeous, like, shading, and he's, like, so nicely done. I believe there are, like, about a hundred, a two hundred made of him. He's fairly limited, to be fair, and I do have Chicory, the other Bright Event horse, so I feel like I need to, like, start collecting a Bright Event horse from, like, each year of Bright's event, but that is gonna be very expensive, but he is a stunning, stunning boy. Next up is Lionel, I believe his name is, which was, or is the limited edition, it's a brick and mortal Briar store um, exclusive from this year. And oh, he was kind of released when this whole COVID thing happened. So a lot of the stores were closed and some people pre-ordered him because he's a stunning, stunning mold. And I adore him with that Appaloosa pattern. I actually do not own anyone or any on this mold. So seeing him now is like, oof. He is really nice, like he's got some really nice like Appaloosa markings and shadings and stuff. He is gorgeous. So actually my lovely friend Gabby got him for me and shipped him them to Erica because her store had a couple. I'm really, I'm really liking the mold to be fair. Morgan Kilburn sculpted him. Really lovely, oh my god. Okay, moving on before this is getting way too long. There's a note. Thank you so much for trading. I included two of my older customs in the package as well. You're such an inspiration to me as a customer. CK model horses. Oh my god, that is so, so lovely. Thank you so much. Okay, so let me see what this is. So this was a trait for the Copper Django because um, I, I fell in love with the Django mold. I don't know why. And I really needed the Copper version. Like, look at him. He is so cute. He is glossy and coppery and oh, filigree. Freaking amazing. So, love that, thank you. Oh wow, look at that. So she included two of her costumes. This is like a fantasy kind of one. I like, it's a black on one side. It's a skeleton on the other. That is so cool, that is so nicely done. And then we've got this, it almost looks like a high gloss roan on this Tennessee Walker. So, oh my god, thank you so much. That is so lovely. I really appreciate that. And, and I love that I'm your inspiration for customizing. Thank you so much, CK Model Horses. Everyone go check her out, or him. We don't like gender, whatever he is. So go check them out. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, I'm, I'm seeing another Briarfest horse. This is Thorn, which was a store special. No, a Briarfest special, I'm sorry. Oh my god. So when I first saw him, I was not impressed. I didn't want to buy him. Then I knew he was like the split run glossy matte. So I'm like, oh, I really would like a glossy version of him. And then Carly got him for me because she was picked for him and it turned out to be a matte, but he's actually a really nicely shaded horse. And he is so much bigger than I expected. Like, holy moly. I need to get the next horse out to compare because he is so big. Like, he, he is so big. <laughs> he does look quite nice. Like, I'm not a big fan of the face. And it's a vintage mold, but it, it almost looks like they smoothed down the the surface of the mold because he's really smooth now. It almost is like a recent mold release. It's just his face and like his hoffs and stuff that are like not as smooth, but like I'm actually really like, except for the face kind of, but like he's a really nicely shaded Appaloosa. I wish they would have done that on a different mold, but still, I think it's quite cool that Briar still reuses a lot of the old molds. And oh my god, he's got like the speckles or freckles or whatever you call them on the mouth. So go Briar with like the details on that. So that's nice. Then let me just take him out because he's just looking at me. This was the horse the lady at the custom took out. He is a new inbox spirit, which, oh, so I got him in a trade. I've, I'm, I don't know. I, I really am into like movies at the moment and like collecting stuff from movies. I've been collecting a lot of like Disney stuff lately. So I bought a spirit, which 
arrived in horrible condition. And I really want to own a Spirit and Rain in box. So this is him. He does have like a rub on like his backside though. I don't know how that really happened because he was in box. Like um, this is, okay, he was opened I think because it does look open. But he is still in really good condition compared to the one I got. Like he's in flawless condition. I wonder if I still could maybe um, fix those slightly areas. Um, and his box got a few rubs. I don't know if that was before shipping off that maybe was caused by the horses in there but either way like I'm not never gonna show him this is just for my movie collecting heart to have a horse from the movie that is new in box and I've, I've got him now so yay so let me just take out some stable mates because we've got a few stable made from the stable mate club because I joined the stable mate club this year because I joined pretty much all the clubs there are except the vintage one I did join this club for the um, Albrozo obviously but these were four of the guys that um, came out now um, and I'm really liking them to be fair like they're really cute molds I'm not quite sure if I I probably will like sell a few keep a few but like that is awesome perfect alrighty 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 oh this is a resin see this is like I don't even know what's even in here anymore because there were so many different things that I bought over the year so this is from the lovely Tegan we traded and she gave me the this resin by Morgan Kilburn which is like a Croy Creole version of like her traditional sculpt and it came with this dollar kind of thing or this coin i don't even know it it probably is casted in resin he's probably super bright but he's so adorable and i really want to turn it into pegasus from hercules because i think it would be a perfect fit this is the coin by the way that came with it so super lovely sculpt super happy to own him okay i'm gonna have so much back problems after this video because like the position I'm sitting in right now is like super uncomfortable because I've got this massive box. I don't have any room to move to the back and I'm sitting with spread legs. So sorry if that was TMI, but what do we do next? These might be the most exciting ones. As you can see, these are the Premier Club bags. So I joined the club this year for the first time, more or less because of Kylie's scar, because I'm now it's going to be freaking amazing and I will need it. But um, I do actually re really like the two releases that they did. Okay, this is Vermeer's, which I'm going to unpack second. And then this is Altinai, the Arcol Tekin, which um, paint job is um, actually designed by Amanda Brock, which I know personally. She's an amazing artist and a super lovely human being. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, so this is Altinai. I guess this is how you pronounce his name. He is freaking huge. He's super long. <gasps> he is stunning. He is really detailed. He's got lovely blue eyes. He's got some nice dappling. And actually, I did have to return mine. So Erica got mine and it had a lot of like weird flaws and like weird surface things, like plastic surface things and not nice. So she returned him. And oof, you know what I really like the most is when like horses have movements that like are so, uh, I don't even know how to describe it, dynamic I guess in a way. Like look at the front, his front leg is like crossing over to the other side so it's not like he's like just normally trotting or galloping so I like the dynamic movement. Okay, so sorry about this, I didn't faint. <laughs> my, my SD card was full, so I just had to um, delete some stuff. So we are back, and now we are to the next Premier Club horse, which is Vermes. I guess this is how you pronounce the name, because the name is based on a Dutch artist, and like German and Dutch pronunciation is fairly equal. So Vermes is a Frisian mold, which was sculpted by Lynn Fraley, I believe and painted by the one and only Stephanie Blaylock and I know Stephanie personally she is oh such a lovely human being and such an amazing artist and her paint job is looking so nice on this horse like she's doing these pearly appaloosas and oh first of all he smells super lovely like plastic <laughs> But um, I don't know, it's probably super, super bright. But let me try to zoom in because he's got so many nice details. Like look at his stunning face that he's got. Look at all the details. And I've seen a lot of like pearly versions of him. And I'm actually a big fan of like pearly horses, but mine is not too pearly, which I kind of like. He looks fairly realistic now, more than just an overly pearly horse. But he looks really gorgeous. Oof. 
So I wasn't a big fan when I first saw pictures of the sculpt, like a blank, but like with this Appaloosa pattern, oh my god, I'm actually in love now. Like his like details on the eyes is stunning. Hopefully my camera is focusing on that. A really, really lovely horse, not gonna lie. Like I didn't expect to like him that much. Okay, moving on. Now we've got, let's get the one box horse out again. Oh, okay, so his box is sadly smashed, which is not too bad. So this is the um, Briarfest celebration horse from this year. And I usually keep one in box and it's always hard to keep one in box because I have to take them in a suitcase and they take a lot of room. So I have a few with like smashed boxes. The corner of this box is smashed, but again, he's just gonna be displayed in that anyway. So I really like the show jumping mold as mentioned earlier. So he's super lovely, really liking him. So yeah, that's that's that pretty much. Okay, while we talk about Raya Fest, this is the stable made, which was a store special, I believe, um, which I didn't get because they were all sold out every time. So Carly got them for me. So thanks again. Um, he's super lovely. He's like high gloss and translucent and oh, just gorgeous. But I'm gonna unpack him later on. Um, not in this video because I've got too much stuff to unpack. Okay, let's quickly, the probably most un, whatever horse in this video, most not exciting video. So I'm obsessed with the Spanish riding school and I really want the doll of this set. So I bought this set really cheap. I don't know why the gloves of the dude are still on the rain. So there should be the dude in here as well, somewhere. Yep, there we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. So yeah, this is the dude. I just really like what Briar did with these dolls, to be fair. Like, they're really accurate, and I've got some custom plans, so I need these dolls. So I'm gonna buy more of these sets just for the dolls, so. Okay, let's move on with, okay, this is um, throwback to Christmas. So the zebras, which you have seen probably in some of my other unpacking videos, this is the blue one, because I was still missing that color. This should be the green one in here as well. There we go. So we have the green and the blue um, zebra, which were the Christmas um, day specials. And it's really funny because um, Erica and Carly bought one and then I bought one. I got the golden one and then they sold theirs to me and I got the red one. So now I actually do have all the zebra colors. So, oh, Yay me! Okay, moving on to another pony, which is a super special one. So this is what's his name? G Joy G Joy G G G I don't know. <laughs> so he is the um, Norwegian or fjord mold from Briar, and I always like this mold a lot. Um, and this is a web special that they did this year in the Barry series. Um, and this was the very first. Oh, I think they did it last year. This was the very first Briar web special that I got picked for. I've been in the club for two years and entered a lot of the ruffles for these um, limited edition models, but never got picked. So this was the first one I got picked for, which I'm super excited about because I really like this dude and I didn't want to spend like secondhand prices. So I'm really liking him. What I found quite weird now, like holding him. So he's fairly textured. You can see on top, it's just drummed down really flat because as we all know, Bryce are made of like two sides. He's got lovely detailed eyes. He's got these freckles, speckles things on his um, mouth again. And then yeah, just overall super adorable. Really liking him. Okay, so we're getting deeper down into the box. Let's see, who is this? Okay, this stunning girl is the Vintage Club model. Um, what's her name? Starlight. So I'm not a big vintage fan, or let me just put it this way, I'm becoming a vintage fan. So I'm not part of the club, so I got a second hand for her original price. So, oh, she's stunning. So this is Bridget Ebel's, or Brigitte Ebel, how we say it in German, Arabian sculpt. And this is in high gloss and the vintage Appaloosa pattern. Oh. Stunning, like super super lovely. Like the, it just this it suits this mold perfectly, I think. And just the reason that she's like high gloss is like killing me. She's stunning, like super super gorgeous, super super gorgeous. We're getting closer to the very end. Not quite sure who's this dude. Oh, this is the other um, celebration horse that I got because I got two tickets. I got two celebration horses. And this is the body, probably. I might paint one. I'm not entirely sure yet, but um, yeah, so that's that. Okay, moving on. Last but not least, I've got two classics and these were, I don't even know what these were. Like, um, you just could order them. I think they were like, what, $65? And they came in three different colors. And I really wanted the Appaloosa, but I ended up with this dude, which is the Dandolino, I believe. And he's high gloss and he looked so nice that I couldn't trade him because 
he's just really lovely. I mean, he's glossy, which I adore, and his paint job is just really nice. Like, the details on the mane and tail is gorgeous. So, I um, had to get the Appaloosa second hand, and the lovely Gabby got him twice, so she sold hers to me. So, thanks again, Gabby, because, ooh, he is a stunning boy. Wow, okay, look at, look at him. He looks really, really pretty. Wow, look at, look at them together. So last but not least, there are a couple of these metal bases in here because of the issue that um, one broke in my tutillas, which is annoying. So they are made by SMD Customs. They are US based and I'm super excited to try these out. Like they're gonna make my horses look so fancy with metal bases. So I got five of them, I believe. So thank you for that. <sighs> okay, are we ready? Last, but certainly not least my holy grail for years, which I got in a trade. So thanks again for trading with me um, because you just made my dream come true. Oh my God. Oh my God. You're dusty. A dusty little guy you are. Wow. 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 I need to absorb him for a minute. I'm really happy right now. <laughs> He looks so, so stunning. So for everyone who doesn't know him, this is Zeus, how American people or English speaking people say it. I personally would say Zeus, because that's the way how we say it in German. So he's from the God series, which was a web series a couple of years ago. Does it say on his tail? Um, no, it doesn't say anything on his tail. Weird. Anyways, um, so he was released years ago and he is so popular and I was never able to get him. I've never seen him actually in one of the room sales at Briarfest, but there have been some because it happened to me one year at Briarfest that someone went into the room and um, bought him and someone on Instagram messaged me and she was like saying, oh, I've, I've seen him in one of the rooms and she was like, oh, never mind, this girl in front of me just bought him and I'm like, oh. Really? But um, this girl actually, uh, we started talking and she let him, let me look at him. I know, <laughs> the, the pain. Look at him um, at the Clarion. He's absolutely stunning. It was definitely worth waiting for because he's got a high gloss. He is a grillo, I believe. And he's got these really nice Appaloosa markings that look like flashlights or flash. Um, blizzards or whatever. Overall, absolutely stunning. Mm, I could just keep on kissing him. He is gorgeous. Okay. Okay, last but certainly not least, we got a letter. The Golden Envelope, which is probably a note from Carly and Erica. Hey, you. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. The southern way to say hello. Congrats on the baby. So excited to find out who the father is. <laughs> Have a blessed day. Love, love. The Isbells. So for everyone who didn't know, I'm pregnant. So surprise. Um, I'm pregnant full with candy. <laughs> so let's try those. <gasps> oh my God, there are Twinkies in here. I adore Twinkies. I really like them. So I'm probably gonna eat them after this video. What are these? <gasps> Shut right up. This is Kit Kat apple pie flavor, limited edition. Okay. Oh, oh. they smell so good. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. They don't taste too much like apple pie. I was expecting like an overwhelming taste of apple pie. Okay, we have these two things. I'm slightly scared of this, not gonna lie. Smoked snack stick. But what is it? Ingredients. Beef. Pork. We cannot be separated chicken. Water, textured, soy flour, corn syrup, salt, contains less than 2% of natural flavors, beef dextrose, paprika, and extractives of paprika, hydro, soy protein, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so this is beef. That's good to know. How do I open this? How do I open this? Do I need to cut this? But if it says snack, it should be easy to open. Ah, okay. We've got two tabs. Well, that worked really well. There we go. Okay, I'm really scared, to be honest, because, like, how can you have pork in such a... Ooh, that's an intense smell. <laughs> what? Wow, this is, like, really spicy. Okay, so first of all, it doesn't taste like any meat I've ever tasted. This is probably no real meat. <laughs> 
Whoa, I don't know what that was, but not pleasant. Moving on to the bottle pop. Okay, how's that working? Oh, oh, I see. So I need to lick this and then dip it in this thing. Mm. Oh, this just turned into like a video that's not supposed to be for children anymore. But, oh. Mmm. Mmm. YouTube is so gonna flag this video as like a sexual content bar. Mmm. Wow, this is actually pretty good. Wow, I'm feeling overwhelmed with all the candy, all the goodies. So thank you so much, Erica and Collie, for A, um, babysitting my Briars, um, B, sending me this absolutely massive box, and C, sending me all the extra goodies and the candy. I really like it. Okay, so this is just an overall look of like all the Briarfest horses I got, kind of. So all the traditionals, we've got the two classics, we've got the couple stable mates in box, we've got these two guys in box, we've got this dude, we've got the resin, and wow. <laughs> um, for not going to Briarfest, this is quite a, a haul, I believe, so yay. So anyways, if you enjoyed this video, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and let me know in the comments out of all the things that I bought, which is a lot, which, which one was your favourite? Let me know in the comments. I'm obviously voting for my one and true love, Zeus. <laughs> he will always be my favourite now in my collection, super happy to own him. Uh, thanks again for watching and I will see you guys very soon. Bye.